There are just so many messaging apps out there and I don't know about you but I have quite a number of them not because I'm a social butterfly but because I know different people who use different messaging apps. So it's such a pain to keep them all open separately and even more annoying when I'm on my computer and I keep getting pings on my mobile. So what do I do? I found this desktop app by accident actually. Since I've started using it, messaging everyone on multiple apps, it's much easier. I'm Alicia from Kel Gadget TV and here is Friends, a desktop messaging app that collates all your messaging apps into one. Now firstly, you will need to download the app to your computer from meetfriends.com website. Now it supports Windows, Mac and Linux, so you don't have to worry about not being able to use it. Once downloaded and installed, you just need to add the chat services of choice into the app and log in from there. Now at the moment, most of the major chat services are supported such as WhatsApp, Skype, Facebook Messenger, Telegram, WeChat, Hangouts, Steam Chat and more. Each individual services offers the same features as its original app. For instance, you can attach photos, videos and documents on WhatsApp and you can make phone and videos calls via Facebook Messenger and well, provided you have a microphone and webcam attached to your computer. One thing though, if you like your messages to show up as a pop-up on your desktop, well, it can be a little bit wonky. At times, the messages will slide in from the side and sometimes the most you will get is a little red dot with a number on it to let you know you've got a message from one of the services you've added on Friends. So far, I've had a good experience using Friends. I don't have to keep checking my phone when someone messages me, especially when I'm in the office and it's always easier to type on a keyboard than on the phone. Another good thing is that whatever you message and attach using friends will be synced with your mobile app so you won't miss a thing although this is not applicable to all apps such as WeChat. Now WeChat in friends is very basic. You can't even change your profile photo and you can only send messages, stickers and files. Looking at how friends works, it is basically putting all the messaging apps that's currently available for the desktop into one app. So how each services work is dependent on how its own desktop messaging works. So you might say this is not really something new. Well, it isn't actually. However, friends have been working great so far with no glitches, no crashes, and it's quite a convenient tool to have. It is a free service, so why don't you just go ahead to meetfriends.com and try it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this desktop app and how do you think it could improve. Now give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and social media channels. Alicia now signing off. Bye.